Now, Britain's Sherlock Holmes is one of the most popular foreign TV series here in Korea, but Korea remains the only nation in the OECD to ban private investigators. The government supports legalization, but the expected side effects are stirring some opposition. Lee Soo-eun reports. Crime scene investigation, undercover duty. He's trying to clear his friend of false accusation, but in Korea, where private detectives are illegal, there are limitations. The police and the prosecutors handle the big cases, but there are also those left unprotected. Since private investigation is illegal, there is no one to collect evidence for these conflicts and trials. The government is in support. Just over a week ago, the police opened a blog that updates information on legalizing private investigation. It expects some 4,000 jobs to be created and hopes private investigators will help solve insurance fraud cases, find missing children and even more. But there are concerns. If access to an individual's private information is given to the private sector, that in itself raises the possibility of privacy violation. Realistically, only the rich can hire private detectives, so it creates an imbalance of information in judicial proceedings. Citizens are also divided in the debate. I'm against it because I feel like I'm being watched. I think it's okay because they'll solve cases that the police can solve. Facing tense debate, bills to legalize private investigations are stalling. It seems that preparation against the potential side effects, like training and supervision, is necessary to break through the doors of the National Assembly. Lee Soo-eun, Arirang News.